doctor. This is all informational purposes. So anyway, so I pick up the kettlebell like so. Pick it up with my whole body. So what I'm going to do is pick the kettlebell straight up like so. And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm sort of squatting a little bit and then I'm launching this thing straight up. Once it gets up to about yay high, shoulder level, I'm going to place my arm under it in what is known as the rack carry. Like so. Now I'm not letting it come up and fall back on my arm. I'm coming up and getting under it. Like so. Your support hand just uses balance. Okay, now notice when the kettlebell is going down. I'm letting it go. I'm not trying to fight it. However, I am controlling it. From here, comes down about probably three to four inches above the ground. And back up. Notice there's a small squat involved. So you're working your legs right there, under. Now, let me give you a side view. Again, from here, straight up and under. Okay? So, that's how to perform the kettlebell clean exercise. Stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to do the kettlebell clean workout. All right, guys, I'm back with the top of the line training, and uh, we're talking about the kettlebell clean. Single kettlebell, and it goes like so, or like this. Again, put the kettlebell up, straight up the body under it into the rack position in that V. That's where your kettlebell should land every time. See, I can control it. I can move around if I need it. See, if I pick it up, it's still in that rack position. Hold it there, okay? Roll it and straight up. So, there's many exercise workouts with the kettlebell clean. So basically, here's one that I use all the time. So we'll go one, two, up to five. So we'll do five reps, that's the fifth rep. We'll switch on the sixth. So it comes down. And what I'm gonna do is just throw it up a little bit, catch it with my left hand. You can, just set it down if you want, pick it up with your left hand. Like that, it doesn't matter, but this sort of gives you an extra rep, if you will. So from here, I'll continue my kettlebell reps on the other side. So, up to five. That would be one set, if you will. Then, I wouldn't recommend, I don't recommend more than a 30 second break. Uh, if you're just starting out, maybe one minute somewhere in that range. Depending on how you're breathing, how you feel. If you need to recover completely, sit down, drink some water. You know, uh, it's definitely gonna get your heart rate up. It's definitely gonna exercise you. So after the 30 seconds, we'll do another 10. Five and five, okay? Here, here, switch, five reps, here, here, five reps. Okay, that's one that you can do. Another one is a ladder, kettlebell ladder. And we can combine that with example, like a push-up. I'm gonna demonstrate this, but don't, um, I'm not talking about how to do a proper push-up, okay? We'll do that at another date. So, example, I'm going to go like this. 
This, this could be just, you come in and do your, your warm up, this is your workout. You're here, cleans. One, two, three, all the way up to 10. Now we're gonna do five push-ups. Make sure I'm on camera here. Five push-ups. Get up. Now you're gonna to go to the left side and you're gonna do nine cleans. One thing about working the kettlebell, make sure you keep an eye on it. Watch it go down, watch it come up, especially on the upstroke, because that's where you wanna make sure you get in to the rack. So we do nine reps. Five push-ups. Okay. Then continuing on. Eight. Five push-ups. Seven. Five push-ups. Six. Five push-ups. All the way down to one. It's a hell of a workout. It's a great exercise. The kettlebell. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video guys i'll be back with other videos real soon on different kettlebell exercises god bless take care we'll see you on the next one hey top of the line train